Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. So today I will try to discuss about that layer stacking, how you can easily make the layer stacking using Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. And before that, if you don't know how to download the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery with 10 meter resolution freely, if you don't know what's the process, you can also watch my this video how to download Sentinel 2 image for free for any region. Okay, so first of all, you try to watch the video and download the satellite images for any region and then continue this video from here. How you can easily use the layer stack using ArcMap software using this. Sentinel 2 satellite images which you download it. Okay, so let's go. So, first of all, you try to watch the video and then continue this tutorial, then it also better for your learning. Okay, so for that, uh, here I already make the layer stacking and also showing the false color composite. Okay, so we try to discuss about that. So, here I, I simply remove this part. I also try to show you this work again. So, first of all, here you can see here I already download this my Sentinel 2 satellite imagery. If you don't know how you can easily download the Sentinel 2 satellite imagery, you can simply follow this video and also download that. Okay. So I simply click on here. And then you can see here, I can get all of the information. I can simply work with that uh, Sentinel 2 satellite images, which I downloaded from here. So just I simply click on the granule and here I can get all of the information here. And here I can get the image data. You can see image data. So basically in the Sentinel-2 satellite imagery, we can get the image for the 20 meter resolution thumb band. We can also get the thumb band for the 10 meter resolution. We can also get the thumb band for 60 meter resolution. Here you can check about all of the band. This is 60 meter resolution. Also you can see 10 meter resolution. So basically we can get the 10 meter resolution for that band 2, band 3, band 4 and band 8. Okay. So basically we can get the red green and blue band and also get the near infrared band as a 10 meter resolution on the sentinel 2 satellite imagery okay so in this time i want to work with this sentinel 10 meter resolution images and also make the layer stack so first of all we should know what is the layer stack so layer stack is a process of combining multiple separate band in order to produce a new multiband image. This type of multiband image are useful in visualizing and identifying the land use land cover classification. In order to do layer stack, multiple images should have the same extent. Okay, so let's go how we can do that. So, first of all, you can simply click on the catalog. And from the catalog, you can select the data management tool. You can see the data management tool. Simply click on here. And from that, simply open the raster. You can see, click on the raster and go to the composite band. Okay, just this option, simply select. Okay, so now you can simply input your all of those band. Okay, so for that, simply click on here and go to your source file. So in this time, you can see this is my image data here, including all of those resolution of the band. So I want to work with the 10 meter resolution. So for that, simply click on the 10 meter and I simply select here the B2, B3, B4 and also B8. So basically these three band are that 10 meter resolution. Okay. So I simply work with the make the composite or also make the layer stacking using this total four band. Okay. So red, green, blue and near infrared. Okay. So I simply add that. And after that, I simply click on here and find out my. So I put a file name. Suppose I put the file name is that Sentinel dot. I also mention the format TIFF format. Okay, then save it. After that, I can simply click on the OK button. Okay, so now it will be work. You can see it uh, progressing and creating the composite band. And also make the layer stack okay so mainly layer stack is a process of combining multiple separate band in order to produce a new multi-band image okay so in this time we can get a new multi-band image 
and from this new multiband image we can easily use the different types of composite different types of visualization such as true colors false colors different types of band composite we can easily create from here so it working And also other thing is that you want to check the image extension in here mainly we can get the jp2 okay Sentinel 2 images are provided by esa in jp2 format okay or jpeg format many software are not capable of reading those images with their projection information intact so that's why in this time we are convert the unit as a tip format okay so many uh, types of software when you want to work with that using this uh, image then it not work for jp2 or jp easy image is not work so that's why we need to change their extension as a tip okay and tip format is easily work with any types of software we can easily do as well as rasterio is also supported the tip image okay so all of the things we can easily do using the tip image so that's why in this time i use here the file extension as a tip so now it's working and my area is the big so that's why it takes some time to load it okay so it's done you can see so now it complete and make the composite of the band so basically in this time you can see i simply zoom in we can get the very better view of that region because it only for the 10 meter resolution and you can see we can download it the cloud place images okay very less cloud in here so in this time here i can get the band one two three and all of those bands are the same resolution 10 meter resolution okay but when you want to do for that all of those bands so in this time here you can see i simply click on here and click on the properties and then you can see i want to get here this b1 b2 b3 and b4 so all of those bands are the same resolution okay 10 meter so it's better to stack and these bands only if they sever your purpose otherwise when you want to make the layer stack all of the bands for the sentinel 2 image then first of all you need to make the resample all of the bands into same special resolution and then apply the layer stack technique okay so in this time all of the bands are the same so that's why we are not resample that okay but when you want to work with for that all of those bands for the sentinel 2 which are including the 10 meter 20 meter all of those bands you want to make the then first of all you want to resample that band resolution and also create the same resolution otherwise we did not get the better result so this process i also show you the other further tutorial how we can easily complete all of those band and make the, also make the resample and also make the same resolution okay so this part i also try to show you the next part so that oh, that's why uh, you need to just keep in touch with uh, my youtube channel okay so from that you can easily work with the different types of band you can see so i simply said that, that this type of band composite then click to the apply and okay so now you can get the true color band composite so mainly when you want to work with the true color band composite then we can get the result you can see for the water body as a black color we can get the vegetation as a red color and this type of the uh, build up where you can easily get from here okay so now you can see here i can get this band composite image and this image i need only for the specific region okay for that you can easily work with that you can just simply import your boundary shape file suppose i simply import the boundary shape file of dhaka city from here so, so i simply imported that suppose yeah 
suppose I simply imported the boundary shape file of my area. So suppose this is my area, I simply import that. And then I simply selecting my, you can see this is my, suppose this is my region of interest of Dhaka city. So for that I simply just uh, click on in the lasso tool, lasso and select this my area. And then make a export data. Okay, and then simply put the same name and same folder, then yes. And then simply remove that, it's not need for this time. And you can see, I want to need this satellite images for this region, only for this region. So just I simply click with that, then I can get only for this region of my interest for this uh, satellite images, okay. And now, we, so this region I want to need only for this region, okay. So it's very easy, just we can simply click on here. And then I simply uh, go to the extraction tool. So from special analytics, you can see that uh, special analytics. Click on here and go to the extraction. Extract by max. Simply click on input the raster. I simply input the TP image from here. And then also use here this uh, feature such as my shape file boundary. Okay. And also put this. Suppose I simply put this name is that. Suppose uh, final dot tip you can use any name i simply put the final tip save it and okay so in this time it is tracked by max only for this region and then i can get for my region of interest uh image as you can see okay so now i can get the result look like this so you can also use that simply filtering your resolution you can simply click on here suppose before B3 and B2 apply and okay. We can get the look like this. Okay, so you can easily filtering this type of images. I think in this time we also make some wrong in here, so that's why this resolution also destroyed. So I think we are also doing the better. We need to use here the clip. So simply click, go to the geo processing tool, and then you can see clip. Okay, so I simply put the input feature is that my shape file and clip feature. So I simply drag it in here. Okay, so I check the problem. So simply geoprocessing tool and click on the clip. So I put the input feature, suppose. Okay, so I simply put this from my dest folder destination from here. Suppose I put this from go to the desktop file. And go open my this image, suppose. Okay, so I simply put here this click on here and then click on the clip okay, and input raster sentinel. Okay, so now it will work and output extent. I simply put here this uh, shape file. Okay, then all of the things will be same and uh, okay. And I also output raster. I simply put the output raster and put the name suppose final. Dot tip. Okay, then save it. Okay, it's not take. So I simply put at this final tip. I put the image dot tip. Okay, so I take. So basically, some uh, time it's not working, so that's why we need to change the name and also do that. Then it will be able to work. Then apply to the OK. So now you can check what the result you can got. Okay, so now we can get the better result in this time, I think. And now it will be clipping. Okay, so you can say I can get the result only for this files. Okay. And from that we can easily extract the all of the things from here. Okay, so this is the process and in this time you can see all of the band same band we can also get in here. You can see all of the band we can get in here and we can easily make the different types of band combinations such as you can see I put here this type of band combination then I can get the image look like this. Okay, 
So using this process, we can easily do for the clip and also extract the satellite image for a specific region after layer stacking. So I hope you can easily do that and face any problem for any time, you can just contact with me and I can give all of the information as well as if you don't know how to download the satellite images, you can simply follow this video. I hope you can easily uh, understand and I also give this video link in my video description so that you can easily access that. Okay, so thank you for watching that video.